I decided to put this video together to help current and future students um, at the University of South Alabama who will be entering into the health informatics program. Uh, right now the program is a certification program and I know that there will come a time when it will be a full degree program. So there's a few things that everybody should know um, when you're entering into this program the vendors that you're going to learn about and the vendors that you're going to uh, interact with use Windows based programs. That's right now. This is 2011. I prefer to use an Apple computer, a MacBook Pro. It's easier, simpler, uh, and better for me to be using that. Um, therefore, I ran into an issue. What was I going to do? Well, there's a simple solution. The first one is that as a student at the University of South Alabama, you are entitled to receive a free copy of Windows 7, no charge. Um, you can download it, burn it to a disk, put it on a flash drive. It's a copy, it's yours, it's legit, and it's fully functional. So that's great, it saves you money. To get it to work on a Apple computer, uh, you will need to install a program called Parallels. In the past, people have done things like uh, dividing the hard drive and uh, boot camping and stuff like that. Stuff that's very technical, very difficult, uh, frustrating, uh, and simply I just didn't have the patience for it. So the simple solution for me was an application, a program that is an application, called Parallels. It's available for you as a student at half the price. I'll provide links for you at the bottom of the page so you can see uh, where you can go to get it and register for it as well, as well as a link to get Windows 7 for free through the school. Parallel 7 behaves or makes Windows behave as if it was an ordinary application or program running inside of your computer, such as Microsoft Word, Twitter, anything you name it. It's simple, easy to install, and what it's doing is it's creating a virtual Windows 7. It's allowing you to use Windows 7 as a, basically as an application. Uh, you can set it up so that anything you do on your Macintosh desktop or your Windows 7 desktop will operate almost the same. So, if you were to take a screenshot which we'll have to do in our class. You can take the screenshot inside Windows 7 and it will be available for you waiting on your Mac desktop like it normally would if you took a screenshot with your Mac. The functions and the shortcuts necessary to take screenshots are exactly the same as your MacBook. I will show you how to set it up so that the behavior between the two applications are seamless. So you will notice nothing. You will simply open up the vendor application as if it was a simple Macintosh application. No stutters, no hiccups, no nothing. Now the beautiful part about using Parallels is that you can have many virtual uh, desktops. You could even have a virtual Macintosh desktop. You can have Windows 8, which you can download now for free, the developer version. Or you can have multiple Windows 7 virtual machines. Why would someone do that? Windows, I don't like because what happens is things. You can crash it. it does, it's not as simple to use as an Apple product. That's what I've discovered. And that's what has made me want to leave Windows completely. So if I'm using a virtual Windows and I run into that issue, I can delete it, reinstall Windows 7, and simply start from scratch. It's beautiful. It's simple and easy to use. If I have something stored on the Windows 7 side that I don't want anybody to know about, I can delete it. And it's gone forever, just like you would delete anything off of your Macintosh any file or application, all of it will be removed and you can start fresh. So what I'm going to do now 
is show you parallels and where you can go to download Windows 7 for free. I hope you find this uh, informative and helpful to current and future students of the Health Informatics Program at the so University of South Alabama. So this is the website Alabama. you'll go to if you're a student at the University of South Alabama. It's the School of Computer and Information Sciences, their homepage. And when you get to their page, you'll go to the left-hand side. You'll see resources. And then underneath resources, you'll see a link, MSDNAA. You'll click that link, and this page will open up. When you get to this page, what you'll need to do is you'll need to click on the MSNDNAA Sign Up tab. This will take you to this page where you'll enter your JAG number in the student number section, and you will enter your JAG email address. You'll have to submit a request for access into this website, MSDNAA. It takes about 24 hours, but once they receive your information, you'll receive a confirmation email with instructions and a link that will take you to the site where you can download your free copy of Windows 7. This is the website that you'll go to to download Parallels. What you'll want to do is you will want to go to the left hand side where it says see what Parallel software offers. Go to the pull down menu, it'll open up and click students. This is the student page and as you can see it's the exact same program just offered at a student discount. You'll click on Buy Student Pack, and this page will open up. And here you'll see that you can purchase it for $39.99, which is in fact 50% off. So that's a pretty sweet deal. Now what I'm going to do is show you, once you finally have Parallels installed, which it installs just like any other application, very simple to do, and you've downloaded Windows 7, how you bring the two together and use them right, on so you your successfully installed Parallels, you've successfully downloaded Windows 7, and you're ready to make things happen. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to open Parallels, and this wizard will come up. You'll click Install Windows from DVD or Image. You'll then hit Continue. And this screen right here, you can tell Parallels where the copy is. I have an ISO file already. So I'll just simply click here, choose an image file. And here it is waiting for me. Double click on it, hit continue. And this screen right here, you will put in your activation key that was emailed to you from the school. You'll put it in there carefully. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna check this box right here. You can go ahead and install it, but this way, but you will need to activate it uh, within a month, I believe. Click Continue. And this is the part that's important. You have an option to choose uh, like a PC or like a Mac. My recommendation is to select like a Mac. Like a Mac will make both programs seamless. So you will not notice any difference. Everything will function smooth. You'll be able to use any of the vendor software on Windows, no problem. You'll be able to operate at the same time anything Mac, no problem. It makes things extremely smooth. And I'll demonstrate for you in just a minute exactly what it's going to look like when you're done. So you'll select like a Mac, you'll hit continue, and then what'll happen is the screen will just go through the normal motions. All right, so you successfully installed Parallels, you successfully installed Windows, and you're ready to rock and roll. So this is what will happen. You'll notice that on your toolbar, you'll have a Parallels desktop icon. You'll also have a Windows 7 Applications folder. So you can go right immediately to anything you want to go to right from there. This is the part I was talking about, about it being seamless. My desktop is Macintosh. I'm able to run both, no problem. When you click on this icon, you'll notice that right away what's going to happen is this will open up. And this is the obvious interface of Windows. It looks exactly like Windows because it simply is Windows. You are just running Windows in a virtual environment. And it runs very well. You can run Internet Explorer and not have a single problem at all. 
functions normally. Loads nice and quick. You can also go straight from your desktop through that folder if you wish into CPSI and clearly run CPSI on a Macintosh, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Up here, you'll notice you have two red bars as well. That's the parallels. Um, you can click it and you'll have some options like different views. You, I'm in coherence mode right now. You can exit it and have it right here as well. So again, you can see that this in fact is the icons that are on my uh, desktop with my Mac. I, I've had them hidden right now, but they are there. They're exactly the same. This stuff here is over here. And the interface of it is exactly like Windows. If you don't like the view like this, and you prefer the other one, you simply just click Enter Coherence, and you go right back into the way that you were before. So I hope that this has been very helpful to you, uh, current students and future students. If you have any questions about anything, please feel free to contact your uh, professor, and they will help you out. Thank you very much, and have a great day.